This week, a new Supercell game, Creator Juice, Supercell games on PC, Clash of Wien, and not so chuckling release, and more on the show. A brand new mobile ARPG, mobile action role playing game. If that term went straight above our heads, imagine if Clash Heroes was set in the future and was released without the Clash IP and without the set Unreal Engine 2. Still too early to define the game's genre, but for now, it looks like a PVE co op monsters hunting game. Sounds familiar? Only if Boss Fight from Brawl Stars wasn't made out into a fully fleshed new game. You got gadgets, attacks, ultimates, hyper. That's not what they are? Probably not. A CRPG has these passive and active abilities that keep you a right thumb busy. So many buttons for an average Supercell Games fan. Visuals that look like the far future that we all hoped that it would be. <sighs> Come on, haven't you watched the Blade Runner and its 2014 sequel? Yeah. And a ton of customization and slappy punk music with cool beats and tracks. I'm already vibing to it though. Sign up at mo.co and you can possibly have the game in your hands by the end of this month and if you are residing in the America and you have an Android for the first time. Beta 4 only, let's go! Still no confirmed expansion on the name, Monsters Company? Maybe not. I believe it's Monsters Cooperation. More details on the new mobile game on a later video. Speaking of mobile games, does your cousin keeps asking, asking you got games on your phone? We are not, you can actually say no. Because starting this week, you can expect to play Clash of Clans and Clash Royale in Windows with official support from the Play Store Beta for Windows. Sorry, Mac users. No more blue star. Oh no, we can't say that. Okay. No more sneaking around for the third party applications, violating the terms of service anymore. Streamers are gonna love it. Don't know about esports though. Sounds like an advantage with hotkeys, or maybe. Maybe not, because you lose multiple touch also. Let's see how the story develops. Clash of Clans released a new trailer with builders smiling on the camera for the nth time and definitely not showing a lot of teeth. Apparently, Builder cooked and he cooked hard this time. We had evolutions, we had hyperchargers, and we got smash ups. Oh boy, what an era to live in. Apparently, Wizard and the Hog Rider was a combo. Main village got four limited time troops and Spooky Elixir, Clash of Wien, and Goblin Builder? Goblins were better off by stealing gold. This lovable scoundrel needs gems as commission. <laughs> and goblins even raided a clan capital. Goblin mines are now unlocked, and I was expecting tunnels as the mines, but it still has the same look as any other capital hall bases. I would have named it as an island because there is an island, not mines. Mighty Miner is added to the clan capital, super because he's in clan capital now. <clears throat> mega Sparky, Mega. Cause clan capital. This is a large version, but adding a spherical bowl makes it mega, I guess. Goblin thrower, X bow, bow that shoots spear goblin barrel with only 5 barrel ammo. Moving on, spear trap because it's goblin speared goblin. Yes, they like to set a team, but <clears throat> endless haste, unlimited remote haste till its last hit point. Don't ask me what happens after the lost hit point because I don't know. Neither does Clash Royale, but they surely know what happens after the max hit points so that they have introduced the additional dark elixir. Evolution energy manifestation free four bats. Come on, we have to make the evolutions look cool, man. Even though sometimes when they aren't cool at all. Also, we have spooky new music theme. Spooky. You know what wasn't spooky enough? Chuck, because he ain't putting a chuckle on everyone's face. The latest brawler addition to the game came with an early access fee of 20 US dollars. The community is mad for no reason whatsoever because it's definitely not affecting them at all. Chuckle Calypse will be there, but the train is delayed by a week. Trains, man, they're always late, even in Brawl Stars. These train puns are a total wreck. <laughs> My guess is that only content creators and the hardcore rank 35 players are buying it on the first day. Come on man, let the game have some monetization and let the devs continue to build in the game we all love. Before we hop onto the MoCo train with the content creators, lucky them they got a new exclusive creator elixir from Supercell Content Creators program. 
which <coughs> I want to be one. <coughs> Please subscribe so that I can also taste a juicy content creator elixir. Man, that went so wrong. So for a taste by Rick, the head of content creator program manager, at the time of recording, two of three announcements are made such as the creators can offer premium services like base building, tips, coaching, basically anything that serves the community. And rewarding them for the service is the new creator elixir that you obtain when you hit certain milestone of subscribers. It's great to get something in return from Supercell on their behalf. So far it's been the official merch, limited goodies, skin giveaways are the part of the current rewards rack. And there have been suggestions for gadgets for creators and I would really love to get a microphone and I need a plushy hat. Do it! Press the red button. I know you want to because I want you to. Subscribe button is not even under that red anymore. I bet Clash Mini player's face is a little bit less red as they finally receive the well demanded balance changes during the all time low state of the game. Started off content for nearly 3 months and a record breaking 2 year beta anniversary for a supercell game. They are producing so much content that the content is to be removed from the game? Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it, it kind of sounds strange that, to say that this is the biggest update while we're cutting some of the things from the game, but it is, <laughs> in, it is in favor to kind of like... There's so much, you literally make... have to take stuff out of the game to make room for it. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you're... Right. Actually, yes. Uh, we have so much, so, like, there's not enough room to fit everything all in. So, yeah. Let's see how that rolls out in the upcoming months. Nipix starts from this Sunday, today. It better be the best. If not, I am pretty sure players will take the pitchforks out and vent out their rage in Hedy. Yeah, this game is apparently still popular. The peaceful farming game who can never hate it. Those Clash Mini players can use their pitchforks and they can say it's time to Halloween. This week we also sense the opposite of all peaceful emotions as the Brawl Stars World Finals 2023 last dance qualifier came to a bittersweet end, tapping the final four spots, qualifying SK, STMN, Navi and Revenant Esports. And also witnessing the new draft show for the World Finals where the teams have put in groups to overcome the disappointing single elimination bracket format from the previous years. We shall look more under details as we move closer to the World Finals 2023 taking place on November 24th to 26th with DreamHack. For now, this is the seeding drafted for the final teams. Now you can finally collect the sweet sweet 4 billion takedowns that everyone achieved. Don't get too excited for the thousand coins that you can get or gadget. <laughs> also, we got the final supercell make cold skin voting. Make sure to choose the best because you guys are getting this for free. The Clash of Clans is still even entertaining even after a decade. What do you want? Huh? What's this video? I really need to recover fully from the jump scare before I go on to scavenge some more news, recap news. For the next weekend, come back in a few days for the complete more.co reaction summary details and hopefully on the next weekend for the next recap cell. Make sure to check out the socials for up to date recap stop of the super silvers. Super silvers, that word still doesn't get right off the bat. <laughs>